create a new folder called interactables. Create a new script inside of that folder called interactable. Go into the script and write class name interactable at the top. Create a variable that will hold what to display to the player when they look at an object. Create a function named interacted with. Add a new area node to the world scene and name it page. Save it as a separate scene. Go into your object scene and create or import a mesh. Create a collision shape as well. Place the object somewhere in your scene. Go to the page scene and add a script. Replace extends area with extends interactable. Override the init function and use it to replace the interaction prompt text. Override interacted with and use it to free the object when it's collected. Go to the player scene and add a raycast as a child of the camera node. Change the target position so that it points 2 meters in front of the camera. And allow it to collide with areas. Reference the Raycast node in a variable in the player script. Create a function called Interaction Step and call it every physics frame. Save whatever the Raycast is colliding with in a variable. Check if the Raycast is colliding with an interactable. Check if the player pressed the Interact key. If that's the case, tell the interactable that it has been interacted with. Go into Project Settings input map and create the interact action. Assign it to the E key. Create a label that will display the interaction prompt message. Give the UI node a script. Implement these two functions. One will change the visibility of the prompt and the other will change the text displayed. Go to the player script and make a reference to the UI. Add these two lines below the first if statement. Add an else statement to hide the interaction prompt when the player is no longer looking at an interactable. Create a script that will keep track of how many pages are left and add it as an autoload from the project settings. I'm using a setter for the collected collectibles variable to emit a signal every time a page is collected. Go into the UI script and override the ready function. Connect the signal from the autoload to a function in the UI script that will update a page counter. Create the page counter label. 